Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Finally, the first photograph of C-295 aircraft for Indian Air Force has been shared on Twitter by Daniel Ferro, which you can see on your screen. The aircraft is being produced for delivery at Airbus Defense Factory at Seville, Spain. On 8 September 2021, the Cabinet Committee on Security had approved the procurement of 56 C-295 transport aircraft from Airbus. Few days later, that is on September 24, the Ministry of Defence signed contract with Airbus for acquisition of aircraft with associated equipment. This is the first project of its kind in which a military aircraft will be completely manufactured in India by a private company. The total cost of the project is Rs 21,935 crore. The aircraft can be used for civilian purpose as well. The induction of C-295 aircraft will be a significant step towards the modernization of transport fleet of Indian Air Force. The order is also expected to go beyond 56 with more orders expected from Coast Guard and Navy in next few years. In addition, the aircraft is also likely to be exported in future to overseas customers. Now, as per Tata Airbus Steel, 16 of the 56 C-295 aircrafts will be delivered in fly-away condition directly from Spain within 48 months of signing of the contract, which means that the first 16 C-295 will be delivered between September 2023 to 2025 and Indian Air Force will start inducting these aircrafts from next year. Now, the remaining 40 aircrafts will be manufactured in India by Tata Consortium and delivered within 10 years of signing of the contract, that is by September 2031. Now, during the Defence Expo 2022, India has approved Quality Management System QMS for Airbus Defence. This is the first time that DGQA has given QMS certification to a foreign aircraft manufacturer. The certification of QMS is integral to manufacturing of C-295s in India, which involves full development of a complete industrial ecosystem from production of parts to assembly, test and qualification to deliver and maintain the complete life cycle of the aircraft. Now, on October 30th, the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi will lay the foundation stone of C-295 manufacturing project at Badodara, Gujarat. Apart from making 40 aircraft, this facility at Badodara would be manufacturing additional aircraft for Air Force requirements and exports. The Make in India initiative of C-295 aircraft will generate nearly 600 direct, highly skilled jobs and 3,000 indirect jobs. It will involve over 125 MSMEs spread over 7 states. Now, talking about Airbus C-295, it is a new generation tactical airlifter in light and medium segment. It is robust, reliable, but also highly versatile in terms of number of different missions it can perform. The C-295 can conduct multi-role operations worldwide under all weather conditions. It is fully certified and routinely operates day and night in combat missions in all weather extremes, from desert to maritime environments, from extremely hot to extremely cold temperatures. The aircraft can be used as a signet platform, airborne early warning system, also as air-to-air -air refueling aircraft. As a signet platform, the aircraft can be used for complete interception of electromagnetic, that is LNIT and communication, that is cometh emissions, to obtain a high level of situational awareness and to generate an intelligence advantage. The aircraft can also be modified to host radars and other electronics and avionics to perform the role of airborne early warning system. It can also be integrated with removable refueling kit, converting it into air tanker which can provide up to 6,000 kg of fuel. The aircraft can perform a wide variety of missions effectively which includes tactical and logistical transport, parachute and cargo drop, medical evacuation and maritime patrol. It has capacity to carry 73 troops, 48 paratroopers, 12 stretcher intensive care med evac, 27 stretcher med evac with 4 medical attendants, etc. Normally, its maximum payload is around 7,050 kg but can be overloaded to 9,250 kg. The aircraft has a rear ramp door for quick reaction para dropping of troops and cargo. It is capable of taking off from short runways of around 1 km in length and land on semi-prepared surfaces. 
it has flight endurance of up to 11 hours. The aircraft will feature modern avionics, intuitive human machine interface HMI with touch controls. These features will ease out the operation of fighter jet which will ultimately ease out the workload of pilots. The aircraft will have indigenous electronic warfare suites. The countermeasure dispensing system that is CMDS for the aircraft will be provided by BDL and BEL will be providing DRDO's radar warning receiver and ultraviolet based missile approach warning system for the aircraft. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.